I have a few different templates for you guys to use as you're planning and starting out your business during Heat Wave Hustle. What's up icons is the iconic fashion figure and the heat wave continues today as we go into day five of heat wave hustle your ultimate summer success boot camp and today I'm going to run through a few templates that I created for you guys and yes of course they're free by the way did you guys know that today is national thank you day so as my thank you to you guys for always continuing to support me I am providing you with free business templates that you can use to help you out with planning out your business and navigating through this startup process during heat wave hustle majority of them were created in canva so you'll be able to use them in canva and alter the design if you would like to and then i have one that's from google sheets so let's jump into these templates and the first template we're starting with is the startup roadmap now if you saw day two's video i went through creating the business plan and coming up with your launch calendar and also talked about creating a list of your essentials well this startup roadmap is going to help you with planning that out and having it actually written down and organized so in this startup roadmap I have it set up for the next four quarters but you can expand this if you would like because this is on a Canva whiteboard so you can expand this as much as you need to but I have you start it for the first year and on this startup roadmap I have sections for multiple tasks which of course you can add tasks all you have to do is click this group here and then you'll copy paste but under each task you have a planning section you have strategy section and you have an outcome section so when you come up with the task let's say task number one is your website you're going to put under the planning you describe the task needed to be completed during the appropriate stage of the process when I did my launch calendar I said that my website needed to be done in July so here I'm going to add in website completion because it will be done in Q3 in the month of July. Under each quarter you see that there's months. So I have the description here but if there's nothing that needs to be done in January you'll actually delete that out. But I'll leave it there so you guys understand what it is you're doing in this row. So you'll just highlight where you need to complete something for that task. You'll type in a description for that task. And then under strategy enter how you plan to achieve this task. Include all necessary steps subtask and roadblocks so under here again i'll highlight it because i'm adding something in here and to achieve this task i'm giving myself two weeks to complete a free canva website which yesterday during heat wave hustle i gave you guys my updated 2024 free canva website template and showed you how to create it with the multi-product checkout so if you haven't seen that yet i'll link that video you'll definitely want to check that out but you'll put in what it is you need to do to achieve this task let's say i also need to do a photo shoot for this that would be a subtask roadblocks could be like you don't know how to design what Whatever you need to do you want to strategize here and you can keep typing out as much as you need to it'll keep creating the space for you but that's strategy then we go into outcome so once I actually reach my deadline which by the way under website completion I should say the actual date by July I believe it was July 2nd outcome I want to put in here did I actually complete my website on time how did the overall website end up looking did I make sure to cover SEO and all of those things type in the outcome once you reach your deadline under here i will put the task as website which clearly i cannot type and then you'll go through and you'll add all the tasks that you need to complete your startup. So let's say it can be your inventory is another. And then you can say like social media. All the tasks that we listed out and all your essentials, you can put them in here and then start planning out when this needs to be done. Now let's say we hit the end of this year, but you want to continue with this roadmap for the following years. You can extend this. So all you do, let me zoom out so you can see. I'll just copy this, paste it, 
above here let me go into my elements there we go so i'll just add like a section over here year two you can put it over here for year one as well so that would be the startup roadmap and technically you can use this roadmap for other things it doesn't even have to be just startup as you can see i added an additional years you can change that you can even make this into a calendar you'll put enough columns going across to cover you know 30 days and make it like a monthly calendar if you would like which i can actually make a calendar for you guys if you want that just comment below and i'll go ahead and create it but let's go into the next template which is going to be my welcome email template when i created the video giving you guys the hack on finding the thousands of customers to get them to your website using my email hack I mentioned for that first email to do like a welcome email and I said that I can create a template if you guys would like for a welcome email. I did receive a comment saying you know you guys wanted the template so I'm going to show you the template that I created for you quickly. And here is the template very easy and straight to the point. Of course you can update the design change it to match your brand's aesthetic. I definitely change it out from my picture that's my free Canva website picture and put in your own picture it can be like a screenshot shot or even a video of your website you'll insert that there because this is a frame add in your brand name you can add in a slogan if you would like or a logo and then the email just quickly gets to the point just saying that you know I wanted to take the time to introduce my brand you'll put a description of your brand on that second line I put what my brand believes in so you'll put in like your brand's values so I threw in something for you but definitely change it out to match your brand's values then I put in what you can expect from us so you'll want to put in some key points about your brands, like your strengths for your brand. Then of course I threw in a special offer because if they're reading that far into the email, well, first of all, they opened the email was a huge step. And then the fact that they're actually reading this far, of course I wanted to give them a discount for taking their time to actually read this. So I put in an offer in there. You don't have to, you can delete that portion out, but it is nice to have that in there. And then I invited them to come check out my website, follow my social media, and then just close it out with the thank you and in the end I did put that you could put your name on there your position letting them know you're the owner and some contact information it could be an email phone number that type of stuff at the bottom put like your website and social media handle tweak this how you need to but this is a starting point for you for a welcome email this is what I mean by sending out a welcome email it looks like a traditional email but you can still decorate it to make it look more like you know kind of like marketing so so you can set the tone for what your brand is about if you would like you can extend it and put like some product images at the end that is your choice but I wanted to make it where it's more simple for one it doesn't go to spam two it looks more like a traditional email and they're more likely to read it you'll just want to make sure you also put a catchy subject line so they actually open it because they're not going to recognize the brand they may just delete it so you want a catchy subject to get them to actually open it but that is the welcome email template now we're going into a template for marketing which this template is my campaign briefs template and you would typically use a campaign brief for marketing campaigns like you're implementing a lot of times they're used for like social media marketing but you can use it for other things if you would like in the campaign brief you're going to clearly outline your marketing plan so that you can make sure this marketing campaign is a success so you'll start out with putting in like a brief description of the campaign so let's say you're running like an influencer campaign and you're going to pay influencers or even even find free influencers to work with to promote your brand and then you're going to enter the objective so list down certain concerns the campaign aims to address or problems you're trying to solve this is more so like brand awareness if you're doing like an influencer campaign you're trying to drive traffic to your website you're trying to gain new clientele then you want to put in your strategy so you'll make note of a strategy and what you would like to achieve and then add the message that you would like the campaign to convey so of course that will be like your brand voice that you want the influencers to share and you're trying to achieve traffic website hopefully new customers sales you're going to list all of that out and what your plan of action is and then include any related documents that you will want to share most times campaign briefs are sent out to influencers so that way they know what it is that they're signing up for and what they need to do you can also create a separate campaign brief internally if you have like a marketing team that's helping you 
you so they understand what you're trying to achieve. So this can be used for multiple different things. You may want to tweak it on what information you want included depending on who you're sending it to because there may be information in there you want to keep internally that you don't want to send to influencers. But next you're going into the brand description. So this would be perfect if you're sending this to influencers to describe your brand, what you're about, really putting your brand's voice so they know how to portray your brand to their audience. And then I would also include some keywords that you would like to use that describes your brand. Then you're going into your campaign goals. So this is kind of breaking down your strategy that you already came up with. You'll break it down more into goals. If it's going to be for social media, use this platform section. So you'll list out all the different platforms that you're using, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whichever platform you're using. You'll put in the type of content. Is it a real short? Is it a long form? Is it a photo? Is it carousel? List out the type of content and then the metrics that you'll like to achieve. So your engagement rate, the number of likes, the number of comments, the impressions, those type of things you'll want to list in here. That is what you're trying to achieve there. And when I say metrics, don't put the actual metrics you achieve in the end. This is like the goals that you're trying to achieve. I have a separate section for you to measure the actual metrics. Then you're going to put in your audience. So you want to know who you actually are trying to target with this campaign. So put in the demographics, put in the psychographics, put in some pain points and the platform for that audience because some platforms will reach one audience that another platform cannot reach. That is why you have a primary audience and a secondary. So you may have a certain age range, certain type of person that you're trying to reach on the primary audience, but you don't want to necessarily negate a certain group of people. So you'll have a secondary audience. Most work that you're putting into this campaign will go into the primary audience. That's the focus, especially if you're spending money. Most of your money will be budgeted towards the primary audience and then you'll allot a smaller budget for your secondary audience so you're not excluding people. Then we're going into deliverables and deliverables is the content that you'll receive. So if we're doing social media marketing you'll want to put like a long form video, a short form video, photos, is it carousel post, a flyer, those type of things. You'll put in the type of deliverable that you're expecting, the number that you're expecting because sometimes like if you're doing a photo some people ask for like five photos some people ask for a video and a photo so you'll put the number of what it is that you're trying to achieve put in specs is it a horizontal video is it vertical video you'll want those specs on there do you want 4k do you just want HD is it going to be low res the size of an image is it square is it portrait is it going to be full screen put in all those specs because the person creating this for you that is doing the campaign will need to know that information and also putting your deadline of when you need to receive this by and when you have your deadlines you'll want to create a deadline for like a first draft in case you need to make edits and then for the final and the day that this is actually supposed to go live so it's actually being posted sometimes your deliverables are created and just sent to you to post that's usually UGC content now if you're working with an influencer for them to reach their audience you'll have a scheduled date of when they need to post then this is where you're going into KPI. So remember we talked about metrics before. You'll actually want to put in your key performance indicators here on what it is you're trying to achieve. So the number of customers you're actually trying to get to your website, the dollar amount that you're actually trying to reach, the number of followers on social media you're trying to reach, and think of what your primary reach is for this campaign, but also have a secondary because your campaign may achieve more than one thing. Then next, I have a breakdown for the schedule. So how I was just talking about the deadlines where you may have like first draft is due that date. Well actually let me slow it down a bit. Let's go back. Contracts because you want contracts for these things. The due date for a contract which if you need a contract template let me know in the comments and I'll create one for you. I'm almost sure I already have some saved on my hard drive but contract due date. Even the date that you need for sourcing these influencers. You want to find a certain number of influencers by this date. Send out the contract by a certain date. Have it signed and returned back to you by a certain date, when the first edits are supposed to be due, when final drafts are supposed to be due, and the completion date of this campaign. There may be other things
things in between that you may need to throw in there as well like if you're having them write a script and you need to read the script first before they actually record that will be another date but create your schedule for this campaign so you can follow that then you'll have just the overall guidelines so put any specific guidelines and requirements for this campaign it can be general the layout so let's say you have a specific aesthetic that you want to show colors that you want use fonts you want use hashtags that you would like to be used specific images you can put links in here for images any type of animations that you would like to use any specific content that should be used and then the last section here is for any additional notes that you need to throw in there that can be internal only or it can be notes for whoever you're sending this to and then of course your contact information at the bottom so that is the campaign brief template this can be used for different marketing tactics it can be for pay-per-click marketing it could be used for social media marketing it can be used for any type of digital marketing even print marketing whatever marketing that you're using you can use this there just may be categories in here that you need to tweak or even eliminate so now let's go into the last template for this video of course I'll have a ton more for you but I want you guys to be able to get back to actually planning because I know I'm shooting out a lot of information to you at once since I'm doing a new video every day but this last template is going to be the project manager template and this one I created in Google Sheets just because I don't know if everyone has Excel if you use numbers but most people have a Gmail so you'll be able to use Google Sheets you can always export it too if you want to use like numbers or Excel but the project manager is to help you keep up with different tasks again this is a productivity template for you so like I said I'm throwing a lot at you but use these templates to help you stay organized in the project manager template you can write down the task that you need to do now before we had the roadmap where it was kind of like more so your brainstorm to just get all the information down in one plate but this is where you can actually keep track of what it is you're doing so again let's put in here that we're working on a new website let's say we have the influencer campaign you can go into more of a description of what needs to be done for those priority this is going to be high the influencer campaign not as high but still important you can double click on date and actually put in the due date so let's say July 2nd for the website influencer campaign will say on the launch date was the 11th so let's say by July 11th the status I haven't started either of these yet you can assign these to people so if you have people helping you and they have a gmail account you can put at let me take away that at so I'm not showing people's email but you'll hit the at symbol and you can type in their gmail email and they'll get an email alert letting them know they've been assigned to a task in your project manager then you can have a section for deliverables so remember I explained deliverables are the content that you'll receive back the person that's assigned to complete this can just link the deliverables there that way you can then retrieve them right from the Google Sheet document or if it's you you can put your own link just to keep it organized and when it's all done you can check it off you also have a note section because we always have extra information we like to put in here now the one thing that I didn't include in here that you may want in here here is a platform section which I can include if that is something that is helpful to you so it'll have the platforms like social media platforms email marketing platforms your website platform so that way you know what that task is for but you'll go in and you'll put down every single task that you need to get done and this is how you can track it obviously I see these are purple they're not started yet I need to get working on them especially if I'm approaching a deadline once I'm actually working on I can put it in progress so I can keep checking back here and always know what it is that I need to be doing and by what date and when it's done you can mark it completed here or you can even do there or do both so that is the project manager template very easy and straight to the point all of these templates are to help you stay organized so that way you can achieve success in your new business venture that is day five of heat wave hustle your ultimate summer success boot camp I hope you guys are keeping up with what we have going on in this boot camp so far but of course course if you need any help feel free to reach out to me I'm more than happy to help you out and make sure you're staying on track I also created the group chat for you guys to join once you join and I can see that you've joined I'll add you as a collaborator so you can message me there as well or even message others that are following this boot camp that is completely private to just us that are in this boot camp that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching <music>